Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. Recently, um, a lot of people have been asking me about this upcoming burst coin fork. So people want to know what they need to do to get ready for this fork. And in this video series, I'm gonna explain what you need to do. So there's gonna be three parts. The first part is changing over or upgrading your burst coin wallet. So that's part one. Part two is either uh, converting your plots or replotting your drives to what's called as POC2. So that'll be part two, which is all about the plotting. And part three will be the new miners that you'll need and also the mining pools. So three parts and you need to have each one kind of set up. Now this fork is happening in um, a little under four days. So it's happening at block 500,000. Uh, like I say, just under four days time. So you've got a couple of days to get ready and uh, it's probably a good idea that you start now because uh, the, the plotting process particularly is gonna take quite a long time. Um, but let's get started. We're gonna get started with the wallet first. So let's get started by upgrading our Burst Coin wallet. So I'm gonna just remote into the machine. It's actually this machine which is right next to me. So I'm sorry if there's a bit of on-screen um, lag and display kind of um, issues, but it should be good enough. So at the moment, I'm using the Burstcoin wallet, which is a really old version. It's 1.28. I haven't updated it for a while, but it's still just about working. Um, if I open up the browser there, you can kind of see this is just a basic wallet. Currently got no balance. You can see the block number there is 498554, and it's an old version. So I've been a bit of a naughty boy and um, not update it. So what I'm gonna do is close all of this down. So we'll close the browser first. And then we're gonna close the Burst Coin application. So just Control and C, we'll close that down. So that's gonna shut down. And then I'm gonna download the new Burst Coin wallet. So one of the things that I wasn't too sure of is if I could transfer this current Burst Coin database um, into the new wallet or whether I just needed to kind of resync it from scratch. So I'll try and copy it across first and then if that doesn't work, then we'll go through like a manual uh, resync. So downloading the new wallet, uh, and by the way, this Burst Coin is the website, it's really good. It's got lots of weekly reports and um, I got a lot of information from this regarding where to get the software, etc. Uh, I'll put all the links in the video description um, as always. Uh, this burstwiki.org is also a really good website to get your software and things. Okay, so let's continue on. So I've been hitting a few stumbling blocks as I've been trying to make this video. So going back again, and uh, I'll try and guide you so you guys don't get stuck like I have been. So I'm going to download this Q bundle so it's like an all-in-one package. And then if you go to this link, it opens in a new tab and then you want to download it. So we've got this part here, it says patch. You don't want to download this patch. That is just a patch on its own. You want to click on Q bundle. Then if you go to releases, and then you want to download this one here. So I'm going to get this uh, zip file and copy the link location. Now I'm going to go to my second machine and download it. So I'm going to paste this into here and save it. I'm going to save it on this Revo drive. Just wait for that to finish downloading. Okay, so the Burst Coin Q bundle has downloaded. So let's extract this now. So extract it to a folder of the same name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this burst coin database across into it. I'm not 100% sure if this will uh, work, but I'll try because it'll, it'll mean um, a lot of time can be saved a uh, resync in the blockchain. But I'm not 100% sure whether um, my previous blockchain is compatible with this new um, wallet, but I'll try it. Okay, we've copied our blockchain across. So now if we start up the burst wallet.exe, uh, we'll see if this runs. So we've got Windows Defender, so we're just gonna run that anyway. And it does a check to confirm we have the Java and the 
database uh, installed. So we click on continue. So if you go to wallet, oh it says it's already starting. So I'm just going to give that um, a couple of minutes and hopefully it will run. Okay, cool. So it took um, just a couple of minutes, um, but our wallet is up and ready to use. So in the bottom left hand corner, you can see we've got the block height, so it's fully um, synchronized. So that carried over from the old wallet, so that's really good. It means that we didn't have to resync the entire blockchain from scratch. So that's basically um, all you've got to do um, in terms of using the wallet. Um, I'm gonna log in now and just confirm it sort of works normally. So I just had to get my Burstcoin uh, wallet phrase there. So if we select return user, and we're gonna paste our password into this box. I'm gonna remember it for the session. Click on the arrow. Yep, and cool. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So you can see our Burstcoin address, which is just like a demo account address. We've got no balance, but it's as it was um, before. So that is cool, that wallet is all up, good, and ready to go. Okay guys, so hopefully that's been useful to you. Just a short video showing you how to transition or, or move your wallet from the old style wallets to the new Burst Coin wallet, so you're ready uh, for the fork when that happens. Check out my next video. So that in that video, I'll be covering uh, converting and replotting your drives to the new POC2 system. And the third video in this series will be all about mining and the mining pools um, after that uh, fork progress has gone through. So hopefully you found this video useful and it's uh, good for you to get up and running and started with it. I'll see you guys on the next video.